I think it's time for a Lightroom tip. Let's go. All right, let's do a Lightroom masking tip. So this is one that you may or may not know, but like if you look at an image like this, and let's say that I want to work on the floor. Yeah, right. Especially I want to work on that crooked. It is a little crooked, little isn't it? Crooked. Yeah, hang on, let me fix that. Crooked. I noticed it as soon as I opened yeah. it. I'm like, we gotta, dang. We gotta fix that. Yeah, thank you. As soon as I opened it, I'm like, that's a little crooked. Yeah. That better? Yeah, that's better. All right. And then it'll constrain that crop. Boom. Okay. So, now that we're, yeah. Dude, that was the first thing I noticed from there, like, yeah. boing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, you want to work on the ground. Now, the problem is if you want to go to the, if you go to the masking tools, right, you've got select subject, which it's not going to choose the ground. It's going to what choose? I don't know what it's going to choose. Part of the roof. So that's not good. Uh, select mm -hmm. sky. It's going to tell you there is no sky. Uh, background is probably going to choose it's way too much. It's the opposite of subject. Right. The opposite yeah. of subject. Right. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I want to just do the floor. How do I just do the floor? It's actually probably two steps. One is you're going to get this tool called objects and then, mm -hmm. but here's the thing. The trick is to go to this thing where it says select objects by default. It wants you to paint over something like, Oh, I want the ceiling. So mm -hmm. you kind of this paint good, over yeah. it this like one. this and it won't do a bad job. Give it a second. It didn't mm. do a good job either. All right, let's undo that. But all right, secret. there is a secret. Go to the objects thing and then click where it says mode. Click, can I see if we can zoom in? Yeah. There we go. It's a Click little, little button. that yeah. little button, right? That's the magic button magic. right there. Now, once you click that button, what you can do is go, all right, I want the this area, the floor. Boom. Boom. Oh, we look at missing area. a little bit. That's but, very surprising. But that's really easy to fill <clears throat> in, right? <clears throat> Absolutely. You would just go to add, get the brush, and say, and that. Boom. Done. So now I can just adjust the floor. If I want to make it shinier, the secret is to go to clarity, and that makes stuff shiny. So, mm -hmm. and, and if I want to make it darker, I think I, I want to make, I was trying to pull the focus off the floor. There we go. Maybe add a little more contrast. And there, and Bob's your uncle. Mm -hmm. All right. So anyway, that is the trick. That's a, that is a more powerful tool than it seems yeah. if you change that one thing and you make that one change. It and well, then better. that's also because you can rotate between the two. If you have sometimes when it's like, oh, a brush will work better. Just I've never brush. had a situation. I know. You I hear can you. The, do it. The, the you box can helps. do it. The box helps. The box rocks. And what you do is you draw the box over what you think it want to. You want to select. Yeah, you yeah. go, and and it's pretty good at going. It's oh, you good. probably want the floor. Yeah. You know, so it's it is very good at that. So anyway, yeah. that's a very very handy tool. You know what's so funny is is Eric and I were talking about today. I don't know if it was at lunch this week or Eric and I. We eat lunch at the same place every yeah. time, every week. Um, but um, it, it's the selections have become so easy, they like have. so much we of what that, we yeah. used to spend our time teaching was how to make selections, and it's become effortless, which is wonderful. Yeah. You know, it's just, it, it well, really has. I was saying that even in my, like my Milky Way workflow, I used to do a lot of selections through luminance and radiant. Like yes. I don't have to go to Photoshop anymore. I can just sit in Lightroom, yeah. do all the layers that I would normally do inside a, light, a Photoshop yeah. right in Lightroom. Right.